What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Cloudly Clue. So today we're going to be talking about the form fitting cage for the ESM50 made by Smalleg and why I think this is a must have if you're going to be doing any type of handheld video. One thing I've never really liked about the ESM50 is the size. It's really really small and it's really hard to get stable footage and coming from a Nikon DSLR that had a pretty sizable grip, I've always disliked the grip for the ERSM50, especially for shooting video. And so I started looking around and I found that Smallrig was making a cage for the ERSM50. And the best thing about it, in my opinion, is that it had a larger grip. So I kept my eye on it all throughout the development process when they first announced it. And then I pre-ordered it which Smallrig does pre-order specials where you can get it for half the price if you pre-order it. And so normally this cage is about $70 and I got it for $35. And I just want to talk to you about the things that I like and the things that I dislike about the Smallrig cage. First of all, it extends the grip, taking it from a sort of point and shoot feel to more DSLR feel. A friend of mine has a Nikon DSLR that's similar to the one that I used to have. And when I used his camera after shooting on the ERSM3 or the ERSM50, I was always like, oh man, I just love the way that it feels. But when I got this grip, it changed all that for me. I actually picked up his camera the other day and I was like, this doesn't feel that much better or more ergonomic. The, the grip is a great size. And now, of course, I have small hands. And so if you have bigger hands, it might not be as good for you. But for someone like me, it fits just perfectly. All my fingers fit onto the cage and I feel like I can get a lot more stable and usable footage shooting handheld with the ESM50. Side note, this will actually fit the M5 as well and they make one for the M6 and M3 so if you have a different ESM camera you could still pick one up and then Small Leg has cages for pretty much any of the popular cameras nowadays. Now, cool thing is with this cage, all of your ports are still able to fully open on the ESM50. You can open your HDMI, your mic jack, you can open your battery door. It also has a hot shoe on the side. So if you wanted to put your microphone a little offset from the center of your camera so it didn't knock into you, which is a problem that a lot of people have had on the ESM50, or if you want to do a mic pointing at you and a mic pointing away from you to have a kind of dual mic setup. So no matter what, you have good, clear, clean audio. It doesn't interfere with any of the NFC, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. All of that works great. Uh, I haven't rigged this out. I know cages are sort of to build upon and make a rig with, but I haven't been able to afford the things that I want to get for it. I'm planning to eventually get a top handle for it, as well as a monitor mount and a monitor. I might also get some 15 millimeter rods so that I can mount maybe a battery pack on the back since old news, the Eosan batteries just aren't good at all. So this cage is awesome, but there is actually one negative that really kind of irks me because it could have been fixed so easily. As you know, I've been using the Arca Swiss quick release plate and this actually has an Arca Swiss quick release built into the cage. And I thought that was just really cool. But then, unfortunately, I tried to mount it on my Arca Swiss gear and only one out of all of the plates that I had, only one was big enough in order to mount the small rig cage onto it. So, it's not really usable for me right now unless I were to get all new quick release bases to mount on my tripods and stuff. But it does have quarter 20s on the bottom so you can still mount your quick release plates onto it. It's not that much big of a deal but it is just kind of an annoyance. If you're going to give us something, why don't you make it universal and much more usable? But I think all of the pros for this outweighs that one small con and I would still recommend getting this. In fact, if you want to know how much better it works for handheld shooting, that b-roll segment in my last video on how to properly use slow motion, I actually shot every single one of those shots handheld, no gimbal, nothing, just the stabilization in the lens and the cage. So. It gives you so much more to grip with and any of you who have been using this ESM system for a while, you know how difficult it is to get handheld when it feels like you're holding a point and shoot camera. So this is a really short one, uh, there's not really much to say about this since I haven't rigged it out at all. Uh, all I have is the cage. Now 
I eventually want to get all of the accoutrements that go onto the cage, and when I do, that'll be a really cool little <clears throat> cinema setup. Uh, and I'll probably do a video on that when I get to that point. But that's not today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.